Hi friends, and welcome back to the Hippo Campus Clubhouse, a fun and inclusive SEL-based storytelling podcast for kids. Aaron here, and today we're discovering perseverance and the power of a great imagination. We'll meet Amani, who has autism and only speaks a few words, that is, until he falls asleep. When night falls, he becomes awesome Amani, a crime-fighting superhero and defender of all that is good. But when he hears someone is being bullied by a kid that's bigger than himself, will he be able to answer the call for help? Let's find out by getting comfy cozy and ready to open our hearts and minds with the amazingly awesome Imani. Written by Jamil and Tracy Ann Samuel. The Amazingly Awesome Amani. Amani Taylor was a special boy. He liked to go bowling and play soccer and golf, but his favorite thing to do was read books. He liked all kinds of books, books about animals, books about monsters, but he especially loved books about superheroes. The Ninja Mutants were his favorite. He also liked Amazing Man, who did cool things like fly high in the sky and save people who were in trouble. Amani was very smart and did well in school, always getting 100% on the weekly spelling quiz. But he kept to himself and didn't talk with the other kids. Even when some of the children tried to speak to Amani, he didn't respond, he just smiled. The other kids thought he was a little different, and they often spoke about him behind his back. One day, Amani's teacher noticed he was sitting by himself drawing with crayons. What are you drawing, Amani? The teacher asked. Amani stopped drawing and showed his artwork to his teacher. There was a drawing of Amani as a superhero with a red costume and even a red cape. Later that night, at bed, it was 8 o'clock and Imani knew it was time to take a bath, put on his pajamas, brush his teeth, and lay down in his bed to say his prayers. On this night, after Mommy kissed his sister Sandy goodnight, she noticed that Imani was not happy. What's wrong, Imani? Did something go on at school? Imani nodded his head, yes. Mommy leaned over and hugged and kissed Amani. Listen, you are a very special boy. You are smart and you are loving and you are amazing. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise. And Mommy and Daddy always love you. Amani clasped his hands together. And as Mommy said the Lord's Prayer, although Amani did not speak, but he was listening to every word. Once Mommy finished the prayer, she said, Amen, and Amani opened his eyes and smiled. Good night, Amani, Mommy said as she kissed his forehead and pulled the covers up to his neck. Suddenly, after his mom had left the room, Amani heard, Help! Help! as he opened his eyes and sat up. He looked over at his little sister, who was still wrapped in her doctor girl sheets. Amani jumped up from his bed and ran to the window. Two young boys were outside. One was taller and heavier than the other. Help me, somebody! said a smaller boy who was screaming. The taller boy was trying to take his ball, and Amani knew he had to act fast. He ran into his closet, and when he came out, he was dressed in a jumpsuit made of blue fabric with a green A painted on the chest just like Superman. A red cape completed the outfit, the outfit of a superhero, but not just any superhero. Awesome Amani. Awesome Amani was ready to save the day, but at first he had to figure out how to get outside. He couldn't walk out the front door. It was past his bedtime. He would have to go out the window. 
Too bad Imani couldn't fly like his favorite superhero, Amazing Man. But with his sister's jump rope, he could climb down. Amani carefully slid down the wall, and as soon as he made it to the ground, Amani saw the taller boy wrestle the ball away from the smaller boy. The taller boy ran away with the ball, and Amani ran after him, but the boy was too far away. Amani had to think fast. He spotted a soccer ball in the grass nearby, and an idea came to him. With all of his might, he kicked that soccer ball at the fleeting bully and the ball went flying through the air and lodged itself right in between the bully's legs, which made him trip. He fell forward with a loud grunt. Imani ran up to the bully and took the boy's ball back. He brought it back to the little boy, and the boy was so happy he gushed. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Imani smiled. That's my name, he said. Awesome, Amani. Amani, he heard. That was his mommy calling his name. Amani knew he had to get back to his room before mommy and daddy had saw that he was gone. Amani ran back down the street to the spot under his bedroom window, but when he got there, the rope was gone. Just then, his sister poked her head over the window. Looking for this? As Sandy dangled her jump rope out the window. Amani looked up and saw the rope and saw Sandy. Sandy, give it back, Amani pleaded. He watched in horror as his little sister turned towards the bedroom door and yelled, Mom! Amani knew this was it. He'd be in trouble for sure. But then all of a sudden, a bright light came on and he sat up in bed, still in his pajamas. He looked across the room towards Sandy's bed and saw that she was still under the covers, fast asleep. Suddenly, the bedroom door opened and Mommy and Daddy rushed in. Is everything all right? Daddy asked. We heard a scream. You screamed Mom, Mommy said as she looked at both of the kids. Amani just smiled at his mommy and daddy and sat down on his bed. Oof, that must have been some dream, said daddy. It was awesome, Amani said, and he gave them both a very big hug. The End So it seems, friends, Amani may be quiet and more reserved during the day, but at night, his imagination allows him to become a powerful and helpful superhero that saves the day, well, um, the night. Bullying anyone is never okay. And thanks to Amani, the bully's plans were foiled, but then, Amani's sister almost foiled his plans of returning into his room. As most brothers and sisters do, Amani and his sister clearly like to play tricks on each other. But thankfully, Amani was able to wake up in his own bed after such an adventurous dream. Friends, I hope you enjoyed today's story. And if you did, have a grown-up click the link in the show notes now. For more stories like this one, visit our website at hippocampusclubhouse.com. Subscribe wherever you stream your pods to never miss a story time. And follow us on Instagram at hippocampusclubhouse to join the fun. Before we go, I want to say a big thank you to our Ko-Fi and Patreon supporters. Your contributions allow for our free story time to reach children just like yours all around the world. Discover how you can gain more Clubhouse perks by clicking the support link in the show notes now. Friends, thank you so much for joining me for story time today, and I love being with you. Until next time, keep telling your story with an open heart while listening to others with an open mind.